Hello ladies and gentlemen, so as you guys know, or if hopefully you still know, uh, what we're doing for my favorite CSGO team, we're doing the Epic CSGO Championships. Uh, we are doing, hopefully you guys understand how this works by now, if not, check, check out episode number one and two. Uh, just released a few days ago, today we're going to go VP and MV. Um, I'm trying to keep these as short as possible, probably like three minutes hopefully. So let's go ahead and get right into the uh, rosters. So as far as Virtus Pro goes, I like watching these guys. They're a very slow team. They take their time, uh, which you can really appreciate. Well, which I really appreciate. Uh, Taz and Bialy are, from what I hear, are veterans, and they are pretty cool dudes. Uh, Neo is kind of like this streaky player. I feel like, uh, as well as Snacks. Snacks is pretty solid. I feel like that dude can just go off sometimes. Pasha Biceps, I think, is their opper. I don't know if he's like their full-time opera, but I know he runs an opera really well. And look at that name. Holy shit. I don't even want to begin how to pronounce that. But uh, overall, I like this team. Uh, their players are very likable from what I've seen in interviews. I've seen Taz, Pasha, and Snacks in an interview. Not the other two, but uh, they seem like team players. They don't really play super aggressive when they're not really needed to. So let's go ahead and move on to Envious. Alright, so these guys I have watched a lot of because uh, I just started watching CSGO recently and just recently these guys have started winning a lot. Um, I feel like this guy right here is their uh, kind of, uh, I guess if he plays well, Envious wins. If he doesn't play well, Envious loses. I feel like he is like the catalyst. Uh, he can drop some fucking numbers. I feel like he's good with every gun. He's super consistent. Um, and he plays well a lot. But if he has a bad game, Envious is really going to struggle. Uh, I feel like Kiyoshima is like this fucking king with a with a, uh, a deagle. Does a lot of like... He's a really smart player. I like the way he holds angles and like mixes it up. And just kind of like catches people off guard. I think he's really impressive to what I don't you don't really get to see him a lot because a lot of people like watch Apex or Kenny S but um, I feel like these other three players are underrated honestly and that takes us to happy the shot caller for envy um, just a really solid player overall I thought he was more of like a an only shot caller player but if he plays well envy really does well I think that's because he understands what the other team is doing the more that he's actually playing and if he dies early in rounds, I think that, uh, well, okay, if he lives early in the game, I think they do better late in game, because he can understand what they're trying to do more. But if he dies early in game, and then isn't living very long in the rounds, and understanding how the other team is playing, I think that's where they struggle. MBK is just a solid dude all around. Uh, don't feel like he's extraordinary but I feel like he fits the role really well I think he plays like just a very team oriented game all the time and then Kenny S uh, everyone thinks he's an amazing opera I think he's a really good aggressive opera I don't think he's as good at holding angles as like a guardian or JW uh, that's just my opinion that's like through three tournaments and I'm new to the scene so maybe you guys could prove me wrong uh, I'm sure you could honestly but that's just from what I've seen. So um, for this one, I'm probably rooting for Envious because I just like their team better, I guess. Um, so I just, I know them more. Uh, Virtus Pro is probably like the second or third team that I know best just from watching them. So uh, let's go ahead and do the 50-50 randomizer. I don't think that I have set it up yet. That's unfortunate. Oh yeah, I did. Okay, let's go. Uh, Envy and V. P. All right, so here we go. We'll go. The first winner will be the, the first uh, thing. So, oh fuck. No, I don't. No, I don't want this. Fuck me. Pause until I get this right. Fuck. 
Ah, it was it was this one. Never mind. Sorry, sorry. All right, here we go. We're gonna go. No, nope, not this. Yeah, pick from a list. We're going to delete all of these. We go N V V P. Oh shit. N V V P. All right. So here we go. We're gonna go. V P is up one. V P is up two. V P is up three. Envy wins one. Three one. Three two. Three three. Four three. Five three V P. Six three V P. Six four uh, V P. And or no. Now it's six four uh VP. So Envy is knocked out of the tournament. That's probably the by far the best known team that I have. So if you can look at the bracket now, uh Envy is out. First rounded. That kinda sucks because I really like Envy. So uh But I also I like these other teams. Uh these teams I know pretty well. Uh so it looks like my only hope for an American team left is Cloud Nine. Uh yeah. I could like nip though, so I don't know. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Hopefully, we can shorten this. I won't explain next time what's going on. Uh, the score was six to four, Virtus Pro. So thank you guys so much for watching, and hopefully by the end of this week now, hopefully by the end of the weekend, we get it figured out who my favorite team is in Counter Strike Go. Uh, stay tuned for more, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.